Uh, okay. Now we get to we get to y'all movie. Here come y'all franchise, y'all. Oh, this is like three weeks in a row. Mm, 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 mm. Three man, we just can't keep this topic out of here. Oh my goodness, my goodness. So y'all know y'all franchise fast ten. Um, has had a couple ups and downs. A couple ups and downs. Uh, you know we had um uh Vin Diesel, you know, and The Rock having some issues and uh you know they had a beef for a little bit then tyrese came out of nowhere had his beef with the rock and all that stuff okay and then they dropped out but hey vin got to work vin was like you know what i got this this is my franchise we're gonna work on it we got jason momoa we got captain marvel yeah you know and we about to man this about to be great and then let what did we talk about last week last week last week uh we revealed that you know the new title is gonna be fast x you know, for 10x, whatever. Maybe mutants come this time. Who knows? And um, but there was some surprising news. There was some surprising news that um Justin Lin has quit as the director. He's still on as a producer, but he quit as the director. I played for y'all the video uh last week of how Justin Lin was looking like he was damn near a hostage or something. Um Actually, in case y'all didn't see it, let's just watch it right now. Hold on, let me play it right now. And look at just, look at Justin's eyes the whole time. Keep in mind, this video once again is one week before Justin quit. One week. Take a look at his eyes, and I need you to understand this so you can understand the next part of the story. Take a look. What do you think, Justin? Week one. Just finished week one. How does it feel? Feels like the beginning of uh, of an epic ending. Is it fair to say that this will be the best one? In my heart, yes. Oh! Oh! So lame. I'm sorry. It's so lame. So <laughs> I felt so bad for Justin for real. <sighs> Anywho. We find out that Justin Lin is out. And uh, one thing that we did get as an update is that they found a replacement, right? No big deal. It happens all the time. They got Luis uh, Letier, uh to play, to replace Justin Lin as uh, the director. Now, you know, I can't say that I have, like, the most confidence in him because this is the same one that made the corny incredible hulk with ed norton now to be clear that incredible hulk had the best depiction of hulk but the movie is corny as hell which looks like might be a good fa fit for the fast fr uh, franchise oh! but this guy also did uh the transporter movies with jason statham okay not too bad and he also did one of my favorite heist movies of all time now you see me now you see me oh my god i cannot now you see me is one of those movies that i also gave like a perfect 10 out of 10 that was just amazing for me but anyway so he can come in and kind of sort of do this job I, I i don't doubt that he will be good i don't doubt it is he going to make the Fast franchise good or this movie good? I don't know. I'm just saying he's not going to give you utter crap. Even though there's more to the story that might deal with that. So you got the Transporter, Incredible Hulk, uh, Now You See Me director filling in for Justin Lin. But now you might be wondering to yourself. You might be wondering, why did Justin Lin leave in the first place? Well, I think I told y'all this the last time. And I and you know, I said it just as a hunch because I don't know Vin Diesel personally. I don't, you know, I, I all I can go off of is what I see um, you know, that's reported. And the only thing we've seen reported, you know, mainly, at least from a negative sense, is that he's unprofessional and that, you know, uh basically what the rock was saying. The rock called him out and was like, "Yo, you 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 unprofessional on the set like you just not 
taking care of business and you the boss like you're you're an executive producer this is your franchise you are paying people and you not showing up so justin lynn apparently because there was a report you know about like what happened apparently he exited due to uh oh ben diesel's on set behavior whoa 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 this person said according to this source i've never seen anything like it justin lynn is giving up 10 or 20 million dollars ben diesel shows up late to the set He doesn't know his lines and he shows up out of shape. Sounds like The Rock was right. Sounds like The Rock had a point. Yikes. Bro, how are you the producer? How are you the boss? And you don't know your lines? You don't even have nothing deep to say in these movies. How are you out of shape? And the whole point of this show for you, this whole point for this whole movie is to show how machismo and how big and swole you are. Why are you out of shape? You got one job. Come in and drive cars and look somewhat swole. And you showing up late. Look, I don't think y'all realize how problematic it is you know i've never made a movie i've never made a movie so i'm not gonna act like i know but i've know people who have made movies and i've heard from people that are you know that are cast crew etc time is money when you are on a set it's no different than like an artist in a studio or whatever you can't just go bsing in studio time because you gotta pay for that time it's the same thing with a movie set you paying for the time, the crew, the 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 settings, the the space. You paying for all that stuff. You can't afford to be late because you probably got a budget that you got to deal with. But we got some more. We got some more on this um, because while it was reported that this was uh, his onset behavior, apparently it was deeper than that. And the Hollywood Reporter got like the real inside scoop apparently and they go all the way in about everything that was happening now i would totally recommend that you uh check this article out i mean i'm gonna try and skim it for you guys and give you like the the cliff notes and everything um what i love about this they actually let you listen to the article so you know if you want to do that go ahead and do it um but (sighs) let's see let's see they talked about yeah directors come and go all of that but The biggest problem um, was uh, Vin Diesel. um, And, you know, I'll give you, okay, let me give you the even shorter cliff notes. Essentially, one of the problems that um, Lynn had was the constant changing of the script. So the script kept changing and like, you know, Lynn comes in and he's like, all right, look, I was told the script was going to be this. But then Vin Diesel comes in with a bunch of notes and says, nah, we going to do these changes. And Lynn is just like, you know what? This is not worth my mental health. I want to say that's exactly what he said. Did he? Did, hold on. Did he say? Yes. Yes. He did actually say that. A Saturday to remember. I started as a, uh, it started as a talk about notes with franchise star and fellow producer Vin Diesel escalated into a major disagreement and ended with a door slammed or a slam door, Justin finally had enough and said, this movie is not worth my mental health. Justin, you sound like me. You sound like all of us. Are any of these movies worth our mental health? Because we've been asking that since, I don't know, Fast 6? Because I know, for me, I was like, look, I mentally checked out of this franchise the moment I saw The Rock catch a torpedo in his bare hands. So it took y'all 10 movies to finally be like, my brain hurt. I don't want to do this no more. But you know what? Everybody got a breaking point. Shout out to Justin Lin for having the courage to just be like, I'm done. 
But let me tell you something. He's still a producer, so he's still going to get, you know, his little money or whatever. But you left 10 to $20 million on the floor. You left that. That's how bad it is. Which one of y'all going to put up? Which one of y'all going to leave 10, 20 million dollars on the table? Who going to leave that? I listen to Vin Diesel's crazy corny jokes and all the stupid. Oh, best ever. Ooh! I listen to all that for 10, 20 million dollars. But apparently. Because Justin Lin's done a couple movies with them. Enough was enough and it was time for a change. He could not have no more of that nonsense at all. Woo wee. Woo. But hey, listen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, good, good point. Not all money is good money. I it, I'm with you. Listen, I got kids, so I gotta I, I'll take the money. But I totally respect that because Justin Lin will be fine. Justin Lin can go get another job. I mean, he's still getting paid off of this as a producer, but my goodness. Uh let me see. Um, was there more to this? There, there's a lot. This article is huge. Uh, they were talking about how um Justin Lin was handling writing duties on the movie and believe he had a locked script going in. Universal and Diesel had other thoughts. Key location had been secured, was cut due to its Eastern European location. Uh, you know, of course, the U Ukraine war. Um, and, and on top of that, the movie, oh my God, they still hadn't cast one of its villains yet. So all this time, they still ain't cast another villain. Because keep in mind, we learned that uh, uh, Jason Momoa was going to be a villain in this. I thought he was going to be the main one. Apparently, they're going to have more villains. I don't know if uh, Brie Larson is going to be a villain or not. Probably going to be Dom's other sister or something stupid. But apparently, they still haven't done that. And on top of that, if I'm not mistaken, they said that the budget, because of all these changes, the budget for Fast X has escalated to three hundred million dollars do you accept cash <clears throat> let me tell you something when it comes to budgets in movies whatever they tell you the budget is add like another 50 to 100 million dollars because you still have to advertise that movie you still got to get commercials and you know ads placed and stuff like that so this movie could be 400 million dollars just to put together and they said a huge bulk of that 300 million is from the cast it's from all the people that it's all the cast members and actors that they had to hire so they could go back to basics do a little street racing or whatever but no they want to bust up them hollywood checks and i think they're hoping at this point they have to hit a billion dollars they have to, okay? And let me tell you something. After The Rock left, wasn't no billion hitting like that. I think Fast 8 hit a billion. I don't know if The Rock left that or not. But ever since then, it, you know, Fast 9 didn't make that kind of money. Fast 9 did not help. So, oh, oh. How they gonna recoup this? Because if your budget, let me tell you something. The, I know some people think, oh, well, if a movie makes a profit, that's fine, right? Not exactly. The average, the average like goal is to earn two and a half times your money. Anything above that, it's a win. So if you double your money, that's okay, but it's not great. If you only make part of your budget or like if you match it, that's a loss. That's not good. Some of y'all might think like, oh, well, you didn't lose anything. You got your money back. You also have to think about the time. That's not how investors think when these producers, they think in their head, hey, if I give you a million dollars, I should wait six to eight months after the movie comes out. I've earned two and a half, maybe three million dollars on my investment. That's what you want to do in that time span. Because if you do one million dollars now and you wait six to eight months and you only get that million back, what the hell difference is that compared to like, I don't know, a tax refund or something like it's not really a good investment at that point because you didn't grow your money. You just got your money back. And during that time, you could have put your money towards something else. Another movie, another project. So this movie right now, because of all these script changes, because of all this nonsense going on with Vin and all that, 
it is costing this movie to have even more pressure on it to be bigger, better, badder, and make more money. I don't know, because it, it's just, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, my gosh. But, yes, this is um, totally, totally, totally a very, very bad situation. Um, now, they said, now, they said, any creative differences leading to Justin Lin's exit were with the studio and not fellow producers, cast, or crew. I, yeah, so y'all blaming the studio, but not the other producers like Vent. Man, stop it. Stop trying to cake. Stop it. Stop it. We know, stop it. No. Because here's the other thing. There was another story, and I think Ben Diesel even said this. He even said this. Uh, Y'all remember Brian's sister? I forget the actress's name, and I forget the character because she's not that important to me in the in the franchise. Brian's, uh, not Brian's sister, Brian's wife. Uh, Paul Walker's character, his wife in the movie. So, you know, they've been kind of bringing her out a little bit or whatever. So in the original script for um, Fast X, she was not included. She was not included at all. Okay. Brian's wife was not included. And then according to Vin, his daughter, his younger daughter was like, hey, is such and such going to be in the movie? And Vin was like, nah. And she was like, well, if she's not going to be in the movie, then there is no movie. And Vin was like, oh. So then Vin went over to uh, uh, the, the producers and the and Universal and was like, we have to put her in the movie because my daughter said so. So Universal's like, okay, whatever. And they forced her into the script so when you see brian's wife in this movie she got forced in and i would not be surprised if that's one of the many things that uh you know justin lynn was like what are we doing this don't make no sense this don't make sense what are we doing oh ooh, ooh. oh man oh man hey y'all but Fast X is going to be epic. Oh, it's going to be epic. Oh, it's going to be epic. Y'all better come and get y'all franchise. Come and get y'all franchise. Ooh. Okay. That's all. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling about Fast X? Can you not wait until it comes out? Please let me know in the comments below and tell me how you feeling about this Fast X and all this exciting brand new news. Oh. We cannot wait to read y'all responses. Yes, indeed. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.